In a no-consequence culture, employees feel secure no matter how poorly they perform. People develop a belief that the company owes them something for nothing. To destroy a no-consequence culture or, conversely, to mobilize people who are overly frightened about losing their jobs, you need to introduce the right balance of risk and security. Two important findings from psychology explain this phenomenon. The yerkes dotson law states that performance increases as anxiety levels rise. Performance reaches its peak when anxiety is at a level that's determined to be ideal. If anxiety is too high, however, performance declines. The second finding is that the motive to achieve reaches its highest level when the probability of success is 50%. People are most motivated to pursue a goal or master a task when it's challenging or a stretch, yet there's still a very good chance they will succeed. The column that follows will provide you with some valuable insights on how organizations perform when everyone is aware that customers could leave, the business could fail, and everyone could lose their jobs. Unless people are convinced there are urgent reasons for giving up old attitudes and behavior, they'll resist new ways of doing things. When the company fails, everyone loses. But when it does well, everyone wins.